Okay, hi guys. Today I'm going to be doing a first impressions video on a few products. To start off with, I got these, this eyeshadow primer, and this one's in the shade Eden. This is by Urban Decay. Um, this is their kind of yellowy tinted one, and I haven't used any of their eyeshadow primers before, so I don't really know what to go by, but I figured I'd try out the yellow one to kind of break into their eyeshadow primers because, uh... Just because I don't have one that's tinted, um, all of mine are clear, so I figured why not. And I was thinking about getting one of the MAC paint pots to kind of cover up the color in my eye, but I figured why not try this because I was thinking about getting the uh, Urban Decay Original Formula. So then I saw this one and I figured why not. Uh, the original had a kind of silicone feel to it. I don't know if this one will have that, but it says on the back, all the benefits of our number one product in a nude matte shade. Apply this weightless primer before your eyeshadow or, or alone to even out skin tone for 24 hours of lasting wear, more vibrant color, and absolutely no creasing. Our new squeeze tube holds 10% more potion. So that'll be nice if it does give me more vibrant colors because it's kind of annoying to add milk to some colors because milk can actually dilute. I'm talking about NYX milk, by the way. Um, I find that milk can actually dilute some of the colors instead of making them more vibrant. So let's hope this works. Next, I have Rimmel Fix and Perfect Primer. It says it smooths, resurfaces, brightens, mattifies, protects, five in one results. So, skin perfecting formula for five in one results. Smooths, resurfaces, brightens, mattifies, and protects. Prolongs foundation wear applied to clean skin, more alone or under foundation. So, I don't really know what it's protecting because it doesn't have sunscreen in it I don't believe but it doesn't mention anything about sunscreen so we will give this a try um yeah I may actually be allergic to this because I'm reading the ingredients list now and I'm noticing it says dimethicone and I believe that's what I was allergic to in the soft lips um but we'll give this a try so yeah. I'm very interested in the texture because it's not a silicone based primer like most of them are. It looks like that. And then when you start spreading it out, it feels more like a really thick lotion. So we shall see. I tried this on in the store. Because I was torn between two primers, and one was $12.99, and this one was $6.99, and this one actually felt nicer, and it has a really nice scent. Kind of perfumed, but I don't my I would rather smell that than like a disgusting smell. And then the last thing is this Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara, and it's clear. I've been looking for a pretty good clear mascara that isn't like $14. And then not a lot comes out on the brush, which is nice. <laughs> you can even see that because it's clear, but you can probably actually see it better like right there. But I either find that too much comes out on the brush or nothing comes out on the brush. And yeah, so um, just mentioning really quick. Before getting that mascara, the lash brow thing. I was using this, what's this called? Sonia Kashuk Tinted Brow Gel. And if you can see this, a lot comes out on this product. So it would like cake up my eyebrows and because it's so uh, light, it would make my eyebrows look 10 times lighter than they should have been, but only in places because it would cake it on in places and then, eh. but um, anyway, I'm going to pull my hair back and then we'll get started. And I also just got a dog today, like I just picked up a dog from the shelter. So if you hear me like yelling at something, it's the dog because she's trying to attack my cat. 
So yeah, that's that's what you're hearing. And <laughs> whining too. She she has attached herself to me. She won't leave the room. So that is what you're hearing. All of the animals have congregated in my bedroom. So we have two dogs and one cat in here. So if you hear anything, it's the animals. So sorry about that. Uh, first off, I'm actually not going to use one of the first impression items. I'm going to use this L'Oreal Magic Anti-Redness Correcting Primer. I'm going to use this on my under eye circles just because if you watch my videos, you know I have pretty dark red circles. I'm not going to use this anywhere else on my face so it shouldn't affect the other primer. Okay, so there are my dark circles kind of covered up. Now I am going to move on to the primer so it will have time to kind of settle into my skin while I'm doing other things. I'm going to use, well, you know what I'm using, the Rimmel Fix and Perfect. So, and this one I am going to try moving, smoothing all over my face to see how it reacts instead of just focusing on my bad areas, I guess you would call them. And I haven't actually, I just washed my face before the video and I totally forgot to <laughs> put on moisturizer and all that, so, uh, dog instant, I, uh. so we'll see how this goes over freshly cleansed skin. Okay, so there is the primer on. My face is looking a little red right now because I was messing with my skin. Uh, so far this is feeling just like a lotion. It's burning my skin because my skin isn't... A lotion will burn my skin right after I've washed it, so it's burning it a little bit right through here. Um, so, like, it just feels like a lotion right now. Um, there's a little bit of a silicone feel just a tiny bit um to probably to blur but overall it just feels like a lotion um it i probably wouldn't have needed so much if i had a lotion moisturizer on my face because right after i wash my face everything tends to soak up into my skin but I have a reaction right here to something. Not this, but I, ha I had it before this. I don't know what it was from, but okay, we'll carry on. So this redness is not caused from this product. It's just getting irritated because this has fragrant fragrance in it. I'm pretty sure. It smells like something, so it's got to have fragrance in it. Okay, we'll carry on. But yeah, it's getting red right here because it had a irritation to something else before this and um, it's getting irritated because there's something on it now. So it's not actually from the product if you can even see the redness right here. Um, I just have like a few bumps right here. But um, I tried a product on in one of my other videos like maybe a week ago. Um, it's probably not even uploaded yet but... I ended up being allergic or had a reaction or whatever to it. And so yeah. I now I'm just gonna put on L'Oreal True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup Foundation. And yeah, we're gonna just put this on over it to see how it goes on over the uh, primer. So yes. um I guess I'll let this sit into my skin a little bit just to kind of soak in but okay now moving on to the eye primer just to give this a little bit of time the packaging is cute on this it's a little cardboard box so and I believe Urban Decay is vegan if 
they still do that. They were a couple of years ago. But I don't, I don't know. I'm trying to, trying to get this out of the box. It's cute. They have like a little gazelle on there. And the primer is yellow. So you can see it there. If anyone has any tips for putting on eye primer, I'd like to know them because I hate putting it on with my fingers because it like irritates my eyelids like crazy. So if anyone has any tips, I'd like to know them. But there it is on my eyelids. It looks a little cakey. Like I said, I've never used the um, other primer, but it this one just feels pretty thick and sticky, like really sticky, but I guess that's a good thing. Um, I'm going to try putting this Milani eyeshadow into the crease. And then we're going to use a little bit of this Wet n Wild Muddy and in the crease again just to define it a little bit better. And then in the outer V, we're going to use this dark color down here from a Smashbox trio that was limited edition. And that's the label on the back if you'd like to try to find it. And then taking this brow bone color up here, I'm going to lay that all the way across the lid. And then I'm just going to deepen up the crease a little bit more with Nutty. And now for the bottom lash line, I'm going to take Nutty again and just take that all the way Taking that Smashbox color, I'm going to put that on the very outer edge. And taking the, um, the Walking on Eggshells Trio, that was the name of it, uh, the lightest color I used on the eyelid, I'm just going to put that on the very inner corner right there. And then I'm going to use Wet Wilds Brulee as a highlight color. So actually this eyeshadow turned out, or <laughs> the eye primer turned out pretty nice. At first I was saying I didn't like it because it was turning out pretty chunky, but the eyeshadow covered it up pretty nicely and I think once I get used to the tackiness or texture of it, I'll end up mastering it because it's still looking a little chunky on this eye, but not so much on this eye. So I think I just need to get used to the texture of it because it's not like any texture I uh, have in an eye primer. Uh, it's a little bit thicker. So I think I just need to get used to it or use a brush for it instead of my fingers because it really wants to stick to my fingers. But um, so I, I like it. I think it looks nice. Uh, now to move on to foundation, I'm going to use this L'Oreal True Match. And this is in the shade N3, not neutral, N3 neutral, if you can see that.
Okay, and I just went ahead and put concealer on and really quick before I powder my face, I'm going to use some of this cream highlight. And this is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi highlighter. And that's all it says. So it, it looks like this and it's one of those brush tip applicators. So. Okay, and now I'm going to powder and I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte uh, Translucent Powder? Transparent Powder. And now I'm going to put on this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is in medium deep and that's what it looks like. I got this as a sample from Sephora. This is Becca Beach Tint Raspberry. The shade is Raspberry. And it's one of those, uh, like in a squeeze tube, and it's a cheek and lip tint. So that's what it looks like. And all you need is like that much on your finger. If you can see that. And then you just kind of dab it and I use my elf stippling brush wherever that went. And it blends out really really nice. I'm so gonna buy this when it uh, when I run out of the sample. So um, even that little bit is gonna last me forever though. And uh, it also looks really, really good on your lips, and it it smells like, I want to say fruit, but almost like a floral fruit, so the taste isn't bad, like, at all, so. It's a little hard to control, I'm not gonna lie, but... If you just layer it and put little dabs on at a time and blend it out, it'll look pretty. So, and then you can always put a blush over it if you want the color to be a little bit more obvious. And it's not sticky at all like most cream or, uh, I don't know, jelly uh, blushes are like this. So not sticky at all. So. I was pretty amazed at how great that product was and I think it's totally worth, worth the price because it's going to last forever. And uh, for highlight I'm just going to use this and I'm going to go over the places where I put the cream highlight except right here that I'm just going to leave alone. And I totally forgot my eyebrows, so we're going to do those really quick. Uh, I'm going to use this BH Cosmetics Flawless Brow Trio just to darken them up a bit. And I'm going to spoolie them really quick. And then I'm going to try this clear uh, lash and mascara. Lash and brow mascara, so let's hope this works. 
Okay, so, uh, yeah, it's kept them in place. It looks a little thick on the eyebrows, but I would normally brush them up instead of, like, through. But my eyebrows, I haven't trimmed them in a while, so they're currently too long to brush them up. But, um, yeah, I think it looks pretty natural. Uh, anyway, looking, like, this far away, you can't tell that I have gel in my eyebrows. Um, yeah, so far... This primer is just a lotion, in my opinion. It's actually kind of accentuating my blemishes. I don't know if you can see them on camera, but like these here, all of my little bumps here, um, all of my reaction spots basically, because um, they're not pimples, but they're like little areas where I had a reaction to something. But yeah, all of these right in here. Um, yeah, it's kind of like accentuating it actually rather than hiding them. Um, yeah, because I didn't notice them before I put the primer on actually. But I really like the eye primer actually. I really like it. I Yeah, I'm definitely keeping the eye primer. Uh, the face primer? I don't know. I'm kind of iffy about it. Because I think it is just a lotion. And I would put something on my lips, but they're so chopped. I, yeah. Um, yeah, let me know what you think if you've ever tried the Rimmel Fix and Perfect Pro primer. Number two. Because I believe the number one is just the matte primer. So, um, I would... This might work for oily skin, but I currently don't have oily skin. Mine is normal, because I really don't have anything. I don't have dry skin, and I don't have, um, uh, oily skin. My skin is just sensitive right now. It is reacting to everything. So, um... Pretty much anything I put on my face I'm going to have a reaction to, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, yeah. Um, personally, I don't like this primer. I give it like a C because it works. It feels like it's working to moisturize my face because it just feels like a lotion. But as for the smoothing, that failed. Resurfacing? Yeah. Fail brightens. I don't know how you can brighten and mattify at the same time, so it mattified my face though. So that I, I give it a A protects. I don't know what you're protecting my face from. So this is basically a mattifying primer. I don't have oily skin, so I don't know how it would work for oily skin. Um, brightens. Like I said, I don't know how you can brighten and mattify at the same time. My face looks brighter because I put uh, highlighter on. I put two highlighters on. So this failed for me. This I liked. Um, I think it made my eyeshadow stand out more than they normally would. And so far they are not creasing. And I will write updates down in the description box of how they stood up throughout the day because I will wear this probably about five more hours. So um I will give you a five hour update. It's probably about 100 degrees today, so I will be sweating. So, and then this one, and I think that's all I had. This one, um, there's not much to say about an eyebrow gel. I guess I can say if it lasted, if it made my eyebrows crunchy, but yes, we shall see. It's cute packaging. I really like the packaging, but Yes. I will write updates in the description box of how I felt. Um, so far, I do not like this, but I like the other things. But we shall see how this works on my face. But uh, leave comments in the description box. I'm sorry I'm wiping my nose so much. I am sick and my nose is running and I'm sorry, but I'm sick. And I'm filming this with a runny nose, so I'm sorry. Um, so write down in the description, right? Yes. Uh, write down in the comments if you have any questions or just if you've tried this stuff, how it worked for you. 
and if you have any suggestions for a good primer because I'm looking for a good um, drugstore primer. I was looking at the L'Oreal Youth Code. That's a little bit too expensive for me because it's like $22 on sale at Ulta right now and um, a little, little too expensive for me even for a drugstore primer. I was looking at the um, Almay, the one with the twisty purple and green that I tried it on my hand and it made my hand look a little like it like amplified my veins in my hand so I don't want to try that one um let's see I was gonna try the matte primer by this one but like I already have the NYX matte primer so I didn't really need another one so I tried this one and I don't think I think this one's going back um the NYX Angel Veil I wanted to try that one but they didn't have it at my Ulta so yeah, so comment down below if you know any good primers because I'm on the hunt for one that like will kind of like make my foundation sit on my face better but it seems like I'm gonna be allergic to the ones that are like pore minimizing like the uh, Too Faced what is that one? I don't know, Pri uh, Prime and Poreless? Primed and Poreless? I, I seem to be allergic to that one as well as the Benefit Professional, the ones that have that kind of consistency where they are the brownish kind of silicone-y feel without being, I don't know, because I got a sample of both of them at, okay you're just, okay, um, I got a sample of both of them at Sephora and I was allergic to both of them because they both have the same kind of consistency where it's like that kind of whipped almost look where it goes on the skin kind of like it's not a silicone base but it, it feels kind of whipped on your face and it just kind of sits on top of your skin but I think I'm allergic to anything that kind of feels like that so can't wear those because so gonna bug me but anyway um I think I'm allergic to anything that feels like that where it's just kind of sitting on top of your face because I had a reaction to both of those I had a reaction to the pores no more Dr. Brandt that I got in my Ipsy bag so I think I can't use pore minimizers there must be something in them at least the ones with the brown tone because I was okay with the Maybelline pore eraser but I heard from people that it really didn't erase their pores so um anyway this video is getting kind of long um yeah so comment below I'm getting tired I'm sorry that I'm sick and filming but yeah I I was in a mood where I'm like I need to film even though I'm not 100% so yeah and I'm getting tired, so I'll see you guys later.